Shalom family. I want to talk about single motherhood. Single motherhood. Everything we hear about single moms seems to be negative, 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 negative. Everything. Um, I briefly touched on it in our live broadcast today, but I wanted to talk about it again because the things that I hear sometimes, in my opinion, are simply not fair. Okay, you can pick any group or any demographic and just focus on uh, the part that you want to focus on. For instance, most people when they think of black people or so-called black people, they think of criminals and all of this other stuff because that is the image that has been painted for all black people, right? And when you think of so-called white people, you think of those who rule the world, those who are successful, those who are this, that, and the other, smarter, prettier, or whatever they have pushed in your minds on as far as they go. When you think of Asian people, you think of those who are extremely smart into technology, into um, eating bowls of rice and Chinese food and all this stuff. Even though all Asians are not Chinese, you think about Chinese food, you see. So whatever you push of um, any particular group of people, um, <clears throat> that's what people come to believe of that particular group. The same with single motherhood or single moms. When you hear of single moms, you just automatically think of negative things because this is all we hear. We think about welfare. We think about someone who um, has spread her legs to anybody that's walking and, um, or anyone who um, whistles at her. And you, you think about all these negative things. You think about some loudmouth ghetto chick, right? Because this is what has been painted to the whole world for single motherhood. I want to paint a different picture for you. Those of you who like to judge people based on them being a single mom. Those of you who have already established in your mind that she is single because she messed up somewhere in life, you see, or because uh, she deserved to be single, because she's unlovable. Whatever reason you've painted in your mind or because she's just some lazy woman who just wants to receive welfare, you see. When I think about how unfair people are, and uh, especially some of our black brothers, they feed right into the stereotypes that the white man has fed them. And they're always talking about how black women are, um, um, are in bed or in cahoots with the white man, when really they are more in cahoots with the white man than anybody. Because you feed into these stereotypes that they have fed into your mind about single mothers. Now. The fact that she is a mother shows that she has some type of sexual encounter with a man at some point in her life, for the, for the most case, okay? We, there are rare instances where women go to a sperm bank, okay? We ain't talking about that. Let's keep it real. Most women who get pregnant get pregnant because they've had sexual contact with some man. But we always want to excuse the man that made this woman a single mother. No talk of him, but let's talk about her being a single mother. <clears throat> okay, now, I feel like single mothers get a bad rap because of, you know what I was saying, the negative information that's put out there as if every single mother or single mom is in this situation by choice, you see. Some women um, are divorced okay some of, the, some of them are widows you see and even those who may have had children out of wedlock um, some of them were in situations where they ran up on some brute beast who said all the right things but at the end of the day when the baby came he was out the door you see um, you, you so-called men you're always talking about how you how our women don't want to love or trust and you are not giving her anything to love and trust when you say things and then you mistreat her when she gets pregnant, you say, it's not mine, you're going to take care of that and all this other nonsense. Many of you, uh, I knew of a case when we were coming up. There was a young woman, she was about 16 years old. She was very, very um, quiet, shy type. And this young man spoke all of these sweet nothings into her ear. And this young woman, <clears throat> she bought it, okay? She bought it. She believed him, you see, and when she ended up giving herself to him, she became pregnant, and his first course of action was to say, that is not mine, that is someone else's, you see, the game that a lot of men play, right? 
Now, another thing about single motherhood, it's automatically assumed that because someone is married, that they are somehow deserving of everything. Being married doesn't automatically mean that you are deserving of anything. There are a lot of women that are married that don't deserve anything. Got good husbands, don't treat them like anything, treat them like trash. And there are some single women out there that would be better wives than some women that are married. You see, don't, don't be under the illusion that being married means that you're automatically um, somehow deserving of what you have. Now, if you are married and you're married to a good man, be thankful. If you're married to a good woman, be thankful. But that doesn't mean that you were any better than anyone else. You see, I've seen some married women looking down on single women. You see, <clears throat> I like to be fair and balanced in how I think of things. And when you really, like one time, I'll give you a good example. When you think of uh, drug dealers, most people think of hoodlum. Um, no good person or a person that's just um, evil and wicked but there's another side of a drug dealer that most people don't consider now I don't condone dealing in drugs I think it's detestable and I think anyone who sells drugs within their community or period something that can cause another person to lose their life I think that is a detestable act but there are those who sell drugs um, who had um, who were very smart, had a lot of business sense. That's the only thing I'm going to say that's positive about that. They had a lot of business sense because they, they knew how to maneuver and do things in business. Some of them laundered their money by setting up fake businesses. Okay? So, when I say this, I don't want you to think that I'm su supporting anyone who sells drugs. I don't. I think it's detestable. I'm just saying, look at their, their business sense. They knew how to launder their money. And guess where they learned it from? The white man. Because they launder money all the time. Okay, anyway, back to single mothers. Um, <clears throat> single moms, when you really look at them closely, when you, you exclude those who are out here messing around, those who are out here not really trying to raise their children, I'm not talking about them. When you look at those who may have two jobs, for instance, um, uh, teaching their children, raising them properly, taking care of home, they come home in between jobs, cook dinner for their children or make other arrangements. Children are fed, put to bed, properly being raised properly within her ability you see and they are still working two jobs no help from anyone what can you say about that kind of woman that is a strong woman yes she may cry sometimes but she is a strong woman and I just don't believe that single women who fit that narrative of what I just said get enough credit Okay, and I already know some of you are not going to like what I'm saying because already in your mind you have this hatred for single women as if they deserve to be in the situation they're in. You see, like I said, even those who have children that are born out of wedlock, things happen to where their life may have ended up that way. But like my son said in our broadcast, okay, now that the child is here, what do you expect her to do with it? Throw it away and say, since you um, were born out of wedlock, I'm just going to let you starve to death? You see, our reasoning is not proper. Our reasoning is not proper at all, okay? Not proper at all. You have women that are married who act like they're helpless and can't do anything, you see? Because they have support, they utilize it, um, they exploit it to the best of their ability. But a single woman don't have that option. A single mom doesn't have the option of being waited on hand and foot or um, saying that I can't do this, I can't take care of my children, someone else has to do this, someone else has to do that. Single moms don't have that choice. And so who is the stronger woman? Hmm? The woman who says, I'm going to do what I have to do. Hmm? Who is the stronger woman? Now, <clears throat> we know of a sister who was married but separated from her husband while she was pregnant. Okay? After she got pregnant, 
he decided he was going to go his way, you see. And so basically she went through this whole pregnancy alone as a, as a single mom, yet she was married, you see. But what did this woman do? She continued to work. I remember it was winter time and she was still driving in the winter, still getting up doing what she had to do, still taking care of her responsibility as a woman who was married, but her husband decided to step away, decided to separate himself from her. In other words, she didn't have a support system. She didn't have someone who could wait on her hand and foot. When you want to look down on a single woman, think twice before you do that. Think about her plight. Think about what has been forced on her. And think about the fact that she is toughing it, toughing it out, handling her business, doing what she has to, you know, even up until the last day of giving birth, this woman handled her business. And because her husband had left, because he had left, she still had to work. You understand what I'm saying? So, again, this video was for single moms who are constantly being bashed and beat over the head with all kinds of narratives coming from all different directions. Um, people saying all kinds of um, evil, hateful things as if being a single mom is some type of disease you attract it. You see? And not really giving um, giving props to those who are handling their business. I'm one of those, like I said, I like to be fair in how I think about things. And I know that not every single mom is the same. You see, there are some who are um, out here playing games. There are some who do that. But that is not the narrative of every last single mom. So how dare you paint them all with one big broad stroke and put yourself above them or belittle them because they don't have what you have. You see, there is a pride that is in this world that is just is off the charts. Off the charts. Putting others beneath you when they can't do any better. It's, it's really detestable to think of, think in these terms. I think if we were to do what we are supposed to do, which we talked about this in our broadcast, all of these brothers who are out here talking this trash about how black women are the ones who are raising all these monsters, where is the daddy? Where is the man who put his seed into that woman? Hmm? Where is the charge that you're going to lay on him? Hmm? All of you brothers who are, are out here talking this trash, why don't you come together and help raise money to support these women. You're talking about how they go to the white man, to the government, to get um, welfare benefits from the government. But what about, what about we as a people take care of our own? Hmm? Do we have enough wisdom to make that happen? While we're so busy talking about her going out here, going over here, signing up for this program, getting food stamps, getting government subsidies, and living in Section 8 housing, in which some of you all, some of you men like to... Um, move in on her benefits and instead of you talking about her getting benefits and depending on the government why don't you man up and come up with a program to help our sisters I think that's what the most high would want you to do instead of running your mouth about them okay I think I've said enough about this particular subject and hopefully we all can start to look at things differently than how we do instead of belittling one another and hating one another, looking down on one another. Why don't we support one another and lift each other up out of this madness that we're in? And with that, I will say shalom.